All right, guys, you know, 2019, new year, new me. You know, I'm trying to get the six pack abs. Uh, so let me know what should it be. Mm. I'm playing, I'm playing. This actually is not for me. Tan? Mm, <laughs> you know, man, I'm gonna do this in uh, in honor of someone. No, I told him, I told him, you gotta take a bite of the Twinkie for the culture. You know, like when you think of snacks, it's a Twinkie. <laughs> oh, you oh, like he You make it look like it's magic. Oh, you oh he did dog. the double! He don't even do one at a time! One thing about Twinkie is, it's consistent. Tan's getting it out of his system right now, but February, he gonna hit it hard in yeah. the gym. Gym vlog's coming all day. Gym vlog's coming all day, and I'm so fast I ate that thing. Oh my, it's gone? <laughs> I blinked, and it was gone. Yo, at least I'm balancing that with a fighter. Oh, you one, of them. you one of them uh, Big Mac meals, but the Diet Coke type of guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we got Ralph right here. We're just waiting on Tan to go get some boxes from um, Home Depot. But while we're waiting, man, what is one thing you've learned now being Richie Lee Collection official photographer? One thing, it's all in the details, man. These guys are super particular with everything. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're too formal. Come on, this is like something you learned about Tan. Like, he liked too many lemonades or something. You just try to get him with a professional answer. <laughs> one, you know, one thing interesting about us or Tan. Uh, um, uh... All right, that's why you're the photographer, not on talent <laughs> camera. All right, guys, I just wanted to introduce you guys, uh, Ralph. You guys might have seen him in a couple videos, but he is uh, officially the photographer for Richie Lee Collection. So I know a lot of people have been really complimenting the photos lately and how they're like formatted and everything. But this is a guy. So if you guys are interested in photography or anything about like sneakers, you, you post a lot of sneaker photos, right? Yeah, mainly. Make sure you guys hit up his Instagram. But uh, any last words? It was just really fun working on this last collection and can't wait to do the next ones. All right, for sure. We got to work on your uh, on-camera personality. Oh, for sure. All right, so we're just taking a break from uh, fulfilling right now. We just got back from lunch. I just wanted to show you guys a uh, trade that I am about to do. We're about to ship out these uh, sneakers. I got to explain this trade to you guys. So the first sneaker that I'm putting up are a uh, pair of Sean Weatherspoons right here. Super clean, gently used. These right here. The Fear of God Nikes. You have I how many pairs? I think I have three. These aren't my size though. They're a little bit too big, but uh, these will be in the trade. And then I also got 500 bucks. So that's 500 bucks. Fear of God Nikes, Sean Weatherspoons, and the last sneaker. Man. Oh, this one hurts. This one. This is a grail. This is my grail. I probably would have bought them from you if they were my size. So with everything added up, the fragments, the fear of gods, the Sean Weatherspoons, 500 bucks, I am trading for a pair of uh, VNDS, worn probably twice, Red October Yeezy 2s. Those you cannot even question doing a trade like this. I thought about it all night and I was like, I gotta do it. So, you know, I've known the guy for, you know, a few years now. So yeah. I'm gonna be uh, shipping. He already shipped out the Red Octobers this morning, but uh, I'm gonna get this uh, packaged up. But you guys gotta let me know, man. Am I getting a good deal? Would you guys do this trade? I mean, we got Fear Gods, Fragment, Sean Weather Weatherspoons. Those are all pretty solid Those sneakers, all so. But uh, you know, Red Octobers, it's almost like you're giving up your rotation yeah. for one shoe. Yeah. I was looking on StockX, the last sneaker that sold from the Red Octobers in size eight and a half was a uh, like 4,800. And the lowest ask right now is 8,000. That's, that's crazy. So I was like, <laughs> I gotta do this, I gotta do it. So, yeah. but yeah, I'm gonna package this up and get them out. And then uh, before I do that, I also wanted to show you, I'm also selling these on StockX. I just sold them. Ooh. Oh man, I just bought them. <laughs> I, I just bought them. The uh, Fear of God Converse. Uh, yeah, I've never been a Chuck guy, man. No. You know, I, I, I've seen some photos. I was like, oh, those look pretty cool. Yeah. And I got them in person. I was like, there's a reason why I never got Chucks. And I just I just can't do them. You know, man, this is not a Chuck guy. I've never owned one pair of Chucks. This is why, you know, you are hype -y. This looks just like regular <laughs> Chuck Taylor that's, <laughs> been, that's that, been released for years. It's got a little bit yeah. off-white details and the leather tongue and extra laces. Other than that, I mean, essentials, hey, branding, on, cream, the cream, cream, the cream. And I'm also, uh, I just sold these on StockX too, these uh, Fear of God. Nike oh, shorts dope. right oh, here. Dope. I sold these for 210. Retail's 100. All right, guys. You guys, let me know. Am I getting a deal, a steal, or am I losing a meal? Losing a meal.
What up guys, so before I head out, I just wanted to show you guys a pair of pants that I posted up recently on my Instagram and a ton of people were asking me about them and uh, they're kind of like cheaper alternatives to the Nike Fear of God uh, basketball pants that recently came out. I had a pair of those and they were like $300. I ended up selling them on uh, StockX and I was like, man, what's an alternative out there? So I looked on Nike.com and I found these uh, luckily and they actually turned out way better than I was expecting. A lot of people were asking me where I got them and everything. They're only 70 bucks too and the quality in my opinion is actually better than the fear of God version So let me show you guys real quick. So here they are right here Like I said 70 bucks and they kind of have like that, you know that vintage throwback material I like that they kind of have like this wrinkliness They have a Nike sign right here and they have a super long zipper and as you guys can see I'm rocking them right now with the uh, fear of God Nike's the shoe of the century and also one thing I gotta address a lot of people were trying to say that I uh, said that the fear of God Nike Nikes, the white ones. Let me grab them real quick. A lot of people were trying to say that I said that these were a drop in the hype talk. Name me one time that I said that these were a drop. From the moment that I saw these, trust me, I like them. A lot of people on my uh, Instagram photo were like, Yo, how you gonna switch up on us? You said these were a drop and everything. I actually always like these from the moment that I saw them on uh, photos. I know a lot of people were asking about these as well. All right, so here we have the sneakers. If you guys are uh, thinking about getting these, I would say the black ones are actually way better than the white ones. The white ones are actually made out of all leather which I don't really like you can see on the black ones there's like suede and then there's this like more of like a uh, breathable mesh material and then on the white ones it is all leather so these are definitely gonna get creased pretty easily I've rocked them like twice already and you can see like they do have creases everywhere as far as the color though these are crazy back to the pants so like I said 70 bucks these are dope alternative to the fear of God uh, Nikes they have a uh, white tips on the drawstrings which is really cool kind of similar to the fear of God version I leave some links in the description box below for you guys I know a ton of people were interested in these and uh, hopefully they don't sell out by the time you guys get to them so we just wrapped up a uh, video here at the University of Washington campus how's it going Hello. How, do, how do you guys think it went it was fun it was super fun so Scott what are you rocking right now man this outfit is crazy they're gonna see this video a little bit later but hold on let me get the good lighting wild. I know this jacket's like pretty rare yeah it's a honestly it's a grill for so many people it came out in 2014 2014 um, yeah and obviously a lot of people recognize this t-shirt right Right here the LV Supreme and then we got the uh, Goyard we got the uh, Gucci pants right here I call these the uh, youtuber Gucci uniform like oh, a lot yeah. of youtubers oh, have these. you know what I mean yeah, like the ace family and every yeah. yeah those are clean and then we got the air mag so overall guys we are gonna be coming out with a video pretty soon um, about how much uh, Gabby's and uh, Scott's outfits are worth she has the uh, off-white Nikes right now and uh, she actually works at uh, Lucky, Lucky Dog clothing. Lucky Dog you guys have seen Bye. them a lot what is the best thing about Lucky Dog Honestly, Honestly, in Seattle, I feel like it's like the number one destination for everything hype, retro. Like, not to be biased, I shopped there before I even worked there. So, they got they got everything. Yeah. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. You guys will see this video really soon. Shout out to Scott, shout out to Gabby, shout out to Gabe. Gabe, what do you- Oh, this jacket looks familiar. Where is this from? From the Richie Lee closet hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was from the Sun shopping video we did. You know, a lot of people say we always return our stuff. We just give them to the squad. And shout out to Anna. A lot of people really liked you in the last uh, Lucky Dog video, if you guys have seen the comments yeah well you guys tune into this one it's gonna be even better what up guys so i just got home um and there was a few packages Oh, I just got a text message. Onbon, what up, man? Thanks for the gear. Shout out to Onbon. Out of stock. Shout out to AB. He just uh, sent me a text. Well, I got a couple packages in the mail. Not sure exactly what they are. Oh, actually, I know what one is for sure. They are the uh, Red Octobers that we were talking about a little bit earlier in the vlog. But I'm going to open this one up right now. Let's see what we got. All right, so this one right here. I can really package this thing up. Like 50 layers of tape. Oh, Herschel, I forgot, they were sending me something. Shout out to uh, Michael Africa. We were talking about um, some Herschel products coming out and I just wanted to uh, check out a few of the products that they were doing. But shout out to Michael, shout out to Herschel Supply. I know they're doing a lot of uh, cool things right now. They say like a duffel bag, camo duffel bag right here. And then they said this super clean, kind of like a black subtle camo duffel bag as well. This might be pretty useful for, uh, hold on. All right, I got a basketball right here. Bam! Yo, fix the basketball with room for a pair of basketball sneakers. Shout out to Herschel Supply for sending this over. Thank you guys for the package. All right, guys, so now we got the Red Octobers. 
I'm excited for this, man. I can't believe how many sneakers I had to put up for these. But shout out to the homie for uh, sending these super quickly. Okay, a lot of these, uh, I don't even know what these are called. A lot of people call these the Cheeto Puffs. How are you supposed to open this without spilling everywhere? These are definitely crazy grail of mine. All right, so here we have it. Classic Red October box, Air Easy 2 SP. What does the SP stand for? SP. If you guys know what the SP stands for in the uh, Red October uh, label for the Yeezys, can you guys let me know? I have no idea. Fire. Fire! And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Octobers. Yo, the condition is on point with the red bag and everything. I can't believe I even have them in my hand right now. Woo! You guys gotta let me know, man. Uh, you know, earlier I was talking about the whole trade and everything. Was it worth it? I gotta go and say it is actually no question how clean. Let me grab the camera show you guys. Look at how clean these are. And he did say this one had a little bit of paint chipping right here, which is pretty expected like my uh, platinum said. You know, I just wanted to wrap this one up really quickly by showing you guys uh, what I got in the trade. Like I said, I put up a lot of sneakers. I put up the Fear of Gods, Sean Weatherspoons, the Fragments, and 500 bucks. You know, so my part of the trade was not very light, but definitely no regrets on this one. Oh, also we got to announce the uh, winners for the giveaway for the Rich Elite Collection giveaway. Hold on, we had them pulled up on our phone. We did a random. Them. All right, so here are the five winners for the Richie Lee collection number one And like I said, this was totally random if you put an order in from last Friday Which was a release date all the way to this past Friday you were entered into this raffle All right, so first we have a uh, Kobe Turner shout out to Kobe Turner. Thank you We also got Kong fall the check my bad if I'm you know screwing up the last name and everything shout out to Kong And then we also got Tom Lee uh, and we also got Brock uh, Busby and then we also got Thomas Lester, all right? Those are the five winners for the Richie Lee Collection giveaway. Congratulations, guys. Once again, thank you guys for everybody who put an order in on the collection. And, you know, we're still trying to work on everything and logistics. You know, a couple of the jackets had a couple of defects, which we definitely are refunding those that had a defect in the jackets. But that's pretty much it, guys. Super successful drop. There's a few items left on the website if you guys are interested. So make sure you guys check it out. And the five winners will be emailed very shortly. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace.